Hey, what is up, gamers? GamerGal here, and welcome back to the quarry. Alright, so, I'm playing as Max now. He's alive! Hooray! And he's probably freaking butt naked. Well, no, he's probably got boxes on. Oh! What the fuck? So that's why when he turned back in the. So that's why, okay, in the jail cell, when he turned back, he had he was, he was naked. Because that's just how it works, I guess. You you strip down to your underwear when you turn back. What? Yeah, you were a creature. You you remember how that's a thing? Well, that's one way to get down. <laughs> Walk it off, buddy. You'll be fine. Alright. On the island. Do you not remember being sent to the island? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, like it's all coming back. Hey, do you remember trying to kill that girl? Because apparently you keep all your memories even when you're a creature. Hey, all your shit. Where the hell are my clothes? Oh, about that. I think Emma took them. <laughs> I think Emma's wearing your clothes. You be. Me. Welp! Time to run around the island, butt naked. <laughs> and he's wearing Lara's clothes. Oh my god, the freaking midriff! Wait, no, I want to see the front! Oh, <laughs> That, that is a look. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love that. Okay. Uh, right. Let me take a look at this. Oh my god, I absolutely love that. Matches? Oh, should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Oh, you think? <laughs> you cleaned yourself up pretty nice. No, not covered in blood. That's a first for all these characters. So for all these characters are at least covered in like a little bit of blood. But, you are completely cleaned up. No more infection, man. Your curse is lifted. How you feeling? <laughs> He's probably feeling really freaking sore. Shit, I would too. Especially after falling from a goddamn tree. Well, I mean... I don't think we have anything to worry about, cuz... Pretty sure we're alone on this island. Pretty sure I was the only creature. Hey! She must have come back. Her hat. Why don't you put that on too? Finish the whole look. Oh my god, he 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 quite literally put on the whole. Wow! From the back for a second, you quite literally did look like a girl. Wow. Okay. Um, he quite literally put on that. He was like, "Why not?" <laughs> Yeah, but she's not here anymore. She's, uh, off somewhere else. Not here. How the hell are you gonna get off the island? Unless, is there a boat there? Just, like, conveniently waiting for you? Still missing shoes. If you could find some girly shoes, then that'd be nice, too. There is no boat. Well, don't get your freaking clo nice clothes all wet! Stay or swim to sh shore? Hmm. Well... Uh... Let's see here. Cause there's no- okay. So there's no danger on this island. Right? The only danger was me. When I was a creature. And now I'm not a creature anymore. So, if I stayed on the island, that would put me completely out of danger. And I could just wait for Laura to eventually come back and get me. But if I swam to shore... Because the creatures can't swim. That's, that's a given. But if I swam to shore, I would be back on the main area. And I would be back, like, all up in that danger. Because Nick is still out there. Silas is still out there. Lot of danger up in that island. So you know what? 
I'm gonna take the pussy route. I'm gonna stay. It's probably best if I stay. And just wait it out. Just wait out the night. Alright, I'm cleaning with Caitlyn now. That didn't go on for long. Well, I guess, what else is there for me to do as Max? The table. Help me. Ah, two more people that are covered in blood. Well, okay. well, hopefully that'll hold. Haha, right? <laughs> don't say that, because they can and will get worse. Just like the cartoons. Yeah, you are in a cartoon. You are in an animated video game. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. right. Oh. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. Or stayed in the freaking lodge, like Ryan Good said. Now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news. Okay. Right. I mean, it's literally a, a survive until dawn situation. Unless we kill Silas before dawn hits. So, wait, what is our objective? Find a vantage point. Let me look at the paths. Build that up. Uh, killing Dylan's, killing his Dylan's company in the lab. Okay, cool. Take a look at that. So, find a vantage point. Upstairs, maybe. Higher ground, possibly. But aren't the stairs blocked? Actually, only one set of stairs is blocked, isn't it? This set of stairs isn't blocked. Okay, never mind. I guess we can't go upstairs. Really? That wouldn't be the vantage point? Well, that leads outside, doesn't it? I don't think it'll allow us. No. Okay, there's no there's no interactable thing. Why are you, are you following me? I don't have the slightest clue of where I'm going. Mm. Oh. Maybe we go. We can go to Chris's office. Oh, and then we can meet up with Emma. That sounds like a good idea. More power in numbers, right? So, how exactly do we? Can we go up this set of stairs? Because his office is upstairs, isn't it? Hey, we can go up these stairs. So wait, it was the other set that was blocked? But it didn't look blocked. I know there is a set of stairs that's blocked, but I don't know which one it is. Maybe it's that one and I just couldn't tell because it was dark or something. I don't, I don't know. So where exactly is his office? I don't actually know where in the building it is. Hey, sweet rug. Oh, a dog tag. For... Nice to big mean face. Travis? What, like, Mr. H's brother, I guess? Is that Travis's? Who? It's the big dude from earlier. Oh. Even Ryan went to the radio Bobby. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Yeah, right. actually. Yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I don't know how to tell you, how to, how to tell you this, but uh, Chris is dead. He's dead. Okay, that just looks like a... Yeah, it's just bunk beds. Is that a shine of a... Yes, it is. Okay. What have we got here? Jeez. I'm see, really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Camp letter. Oh, boy. Chris Hackett is actually in Camber's parents for additional donations to help with lodge renovation costs. Isn't that what Camp Fees are for? Where else would that money be going? Ah, interesting. Welp. Is there anything else I'm missing? There is indeed. More clues. Where? Ah. Ah. The fact that Chris Hackett is asking Camper's parents for donations means that these repairs may be more crucial than they first thought. Hmm, interesting. Alright, I think that's 
all in this room. I don't think we're gonna find much. I mean, we've explored this mansion, or I don't know why I call that a mansion, this lodge head to toe. Um, would it be more up his office? I don't even know if his office is where we're supposed to be going. Damn, this lodge is freaking huge. Okay. Ooh, the high priestess. Ooh. Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out at her, her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's quarry ever since, and she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night, though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Yeah, so her motive is not to get me out alive. It's it's to kill... Well, I mean, it is, but her main motive is to kill the Hackett family. That's why she was all pissed. Like, why didn't you kill them? Um, and to be fair, lady, the mom and dad, yes, they're psycho. I don't care about them. Same with Bobby. He's, he's too, he, he's not good either. Uh, Travis and Chris, though, well, Chris, it doesn't matter because he's dead. Chris, uh, Travis, though, he's the only good one. Oh, yeah, and then there's Kaylee and Caleb. I don't know what the hell we're going to do about Caleb, but Kaylee's also, Kaylee's dead. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, is there anything in this area? It doesn't look like it. What about over here? Is this even where we need to be? I don't see anything of significance. No cutscene has happened. Maybe we quite literally do need to go to his office. Oh, wait! We do! Because of that secret room with all the monitors. Then we can monitor everything that's happening in the camp. Oh. I totally forgot about the secret room. Okay, so what room is his office? Because uh, I don't think they ever actually showed us, like, what area of the lodge his office was in. It was on the second floor, because I remember outside Ryan going upstairs. Let me just look at this. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. Who the hell is that? Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place on the largest chimney column. Who the hell is Septimus? I guess their great grandfather, great 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 ago. great great grandfather, some shit like that. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking, prepare for attack. Mm, oh shit! Like there's different spots where I can. Let me keep looking. I honestly you should keep looking. I honestly think that monitor room will be our best bet. Okay, so I have multiple options in which I can pick a vantage point from. Mm, while looking over the balcony is a good spot. I want to find his office. Is this it? No, this is something else. Um, oh my good god, more stairs. Okay. So this is a whole arts and crafts area. A school room it looks like? They have school desks. Rip Ian, we hardly knew you. Um... Hi? Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp oh, starts. Oh, it's a sheep. Mm, Chalkboard sight. doodle. Sounds about right. Yeah, about that. <laughs> a memorial to the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the locks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. Yeah, I wonder why. Probably because Chris we ate him. Mascot? Well, no, we did. Yeah, we did. Even here? Here what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. Did you hear a knock on my door? I don't think it was. It just noise is being made. Okay. I can probably put that together with frickin' the goddamn... Oh, that? Yes, yes. 
The campers never knew how Chris Heck Chris killed and ate the camp mascot. In fact, they didn't know a lot about camp leader Chris Hackett. <laughs> right, I was gonna say, look at the bloody collar. Right. Ian would shoot the camp mascot. Something slaughtered him down in the storm shelter. Something. Gee, I wonder what. <laughs> okay. Mm, camp letter. Mm. Maybe the camp is in worse shape than the fees can cover. Yeesh. Okay, then. Oh, look at them all. So young. Anyway. Um. Okay, so that's it for this room. Where the hell is his office? Like, seriously, damn. Okay, let me go up. Okay, I thought it wasn't gonna- I thought it wasn't gonna let me for a second. I was like, um, you can't just tantalizingly have stairs there and not let me up. Okay. Oh, there's something there. Hello. A ring. Where have I seen this emblem before? Inscribed jewelry. Hmm. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals that it belonged to Bobby Hackett. Ah. What is it? A ring with a crust on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Cool thanks. Anyway, just gonna ignore that. Um. Anything? Oh, oop! I see a shiny. Oh, was that just okay? Wait, there's also this. Oh, that's just the window. Okay. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Oh, it still works. Careful with that. That's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax. It's dead anyway. Is it? Oh, then why did it make a noise? RIP megaphone. <laughs> well, maybe we should make a freaking drawing of it on the whiteboard or chalkboard. Did they call it a chalkboard? I'm pretty sure that's a whiteboard. Call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure that's a whiteboard. Chalkboard. Oh no, I guess I. Uh. I mean, sorry. I'm used to be. I'm used to chalkboards being black. Not, not, not white. White, white is quite literally like whiteboard. <coughs> what's this? A box. Proper question is what's Trail in the box? Trail kit. Ooh. It's like they're looking for something. Hey, we might want to put that in. Yeah. Uh Ah, there we go. Room. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Hmm. Trail cam footage. Ooh. From oh shit. Archived trail cam footage from Hackett Woods dating back six years. Ooh. Evidence. How much evidence do I got now? Let me take a look at that. Quite a bit. I'm only missing four. That's pretty damn nice. How about that? They also seem to be going in order, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to find those other four. A little too late for that, but I've got quite the amount of evidence here. <clears throat> okay, speaking of Chris's surveillance room, let's freaking go there. I don't see anything else up here. So I think this was literally just an extra... Attic type area. Uh, Dylan? D cool, thanks. So much for ladies first. <coughs> okay. Where the hell is this office? I'm exploring every goddamn nook and cranny of this place. At least I think I have. Was this office not on the second floor? Did I miss a room or something? I'm pretty sure I explored, I explored this whole area. Let me go look back downstairs again. M let me go s let me go see. Oh, my nose is itchy. I'm pretty sure his office was on the second floor, but I guess I must be wrong. 
Where the hell is his office? This is kitchen. Okay. Hmm. Nothing of input. Oh, never mind. Something of importance. Bag. Empty. Okay, then. What was the point? Okay. So, oh, I'm back at the beginning. Okay. Co. Is this literally. Is that a door? Is this literally a separate room for coat hanging? Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna judge the design of this place. Where in the goddamn H is Mr. H's office? At this point, I might just give up and pick that balcony. Even though it's probably gonna F me, but... I mean, I can't find his office, so what the hell do you expect me to do? not allowing me to go through any doors down here. I'm not ending this episode until I've explored every goddamn nook and cranny of the, this place. And if I don't find his office, I'm just, I'm just gonna pick that freaking vantage point up on the balcony. Because that seems like a pretty good place, too. No, okay. I already looked here. It's not letting me go there. I just looked down here. Where the hell? Alright, you know what? F it. I don't care anymore. Damn it. Oh, th see, there are archers there. I just didn't see them before. Okay, lovely. Well, I can't find his office. So, I'm gonna just pick that balcony for my vantage point. So... I mean, I guess the surveillance room wouldn't be much of a vantage point. Because, like, it's overlooking the outside, isn't it? I guess we want... A vantage point for when the monsters c come into here, into the lodge. I don't know. But, anyway, so much for that. I guess, I don't know. What's the deal with Emma? She's gonna go into the. She's gonna end up in Chris's office, and then. And then what? I don't know. I guess we'll meet up? Sure. I, I don't know. This is all confusing it's confusing but it's also not confusing i don't know things are coming together and then also some things are still i don't know still confusing in some aspects or maybe i'm just dumb who knows but anyway uh for now i'm gonna leave this episode here hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye